Presbycusis is a big word for a big problem. 80% of 80-year-olds have a hearing loss. And simply, presbycusis is a hearing loss of aging. We encourage everybody to get their hearing checked in their 60s and on a continual basis to see if they are going to have presbycusis and if they do, when to discuss and consider treatment. It is an impactful problem that most people don't realize that they have because simply you don't know what you're not hearing. Over time, people adapt to the hearing loss by using speech reading, looking at people's lips and expressions because when you look at my lips, you can tell the difference between wife and white and using context. In other words, tracking the conversation and your brain will fill in the things that you aren't hearing. So despite the fact that people communicate effectively, they have a hearing loss. This eventually leads to problems with social interaction and being engaged. I tell people, presbycusis or hearing loss is like baseball, but worse. As you know, in baseball, you get three strikes. In hearing loss, you only get two. The example is, is somebody says something to them, you say, what? They repeat it again and you say, huh? And then what people will say is, forget it. They're not gonna repeat it after two times. And as that happens, you slowly get less and less engaged and you get less and less connected. And this leads to less vibrant or not good con connectivity socially and actually starts to compromise your ability to act independently. We strongly encourage people to get their hearing checked and if needed, their hearing treated appropriately and adequately.